Today we will be going over the Thessaly test. The purpose of the Thessaly test is to be a functional and diagnostic test to assess the integrity of the medial and lateral menisci. The Thessaly test mimics natural compression on the lateral and medial meniscus during weight bearing combined with internal and external rotation. The test is performed at 5 and 20 degrees of knee flexion. Indications for performing this test would be a suspected meniscal injury. Suspected meniscal injury exam findings consist of something of the mechanism of injury in which a contact or non-contact event, often coupled with a twisting motion, and an audible or felt sensation of a pop. Also, the patient complains of catching, blocking, locking, or giving out of the knee, pain with forced hyperextension and full flexion of the knee, knee line joint tenderness, and swelling. Before performing the Thessaly test, be sure to rule out pathology at the hip and ankle. Make certain that the patient is safe while performing single leg stance. Current literature suggests that psychometrics for these exams are excellent at detecting medial and lateral meniscal tears, especially, especially when the knee is flexed to 20 degrees. The Thessaly test also has a low false positive and false negative rate. The test is up to 96% accurate in identifying meniscal injury, which was then confirmed by MRI. These psychometrics hold up even when a meniscal tear is combined with an ACL injury. This test is administered bilaterally starting with the unaffected leg. In this demonstration, it will be the right leg. The patient stands on the test leg with outstretched arms holding on for support to the tester. The test is administered with the knee either at 5 degrees or 20 degrees of flexion. The patient then completes three active and internal and external rotations of their body, rotating the femur upon the tibia. Once three rotations are done in each direction and at each knee flexion angle, the test is repeated on the impaired leg. The test is positive if there is reproduction of cyst sy symptoms, including pain or clicking in the knee joint. Today, um, after our examination findings of going through talking to you for a little bit, um, what I suspect is that you may have a meniscal injury. Uh, the meniscus is in your knee, and it's actually the shock absorber of your knee. So it helps hold your knee in place and absorbs any force that's going through your leg. Um, so what we're going to be doing is going to be doing a quick test called the Thessaly test that will either rule in or rule out meniscal injury. So for this test, um, you'll be standing on your one leg. So let's do that. I'm gonna have you stand on your left leg first because your right leg is injured. Um, hold on to my hands here for balance. Okay. So I want you to just slightly flex your knee just a little bit. All right, and then I want you to turn to your right as far as you can, and then to your left, and then back to your right as far as you can your left, and then one more time to your right, and one more time to your left. Does that reproduce any pain or um, clicking in your knee? No. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to have you do is bend your knee a little bit more. There you go, good. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go three times to the right and three times to the left. Okay. All right, any pain or reproduction of symptoms clicking? No. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna do this on your right leg. Okay. Let me know if this reproduces any pain or clicking of symptoms. So same thing, just slightly bent. There you go. Let's go to your right. Uh, yeah, and that kind of hurts. Okay. I'm feeling a uh, catching. It's like catching. It's catching. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if it gets worse. Yeah, it's, it's definitely getting worse. Stop there. Now I'm going to have you flex a little bit more. We're going to do the same thing. Ooh, yeah, that's worse. It's still catching, and I'm feeling a click. Back up. All right. From what you told me, that you increased your pain, and also you felt a clicking or catching. Um, that would be a positive sign. So I would. 
think that you have a meniscal injury. As you saw, the patient complained of a reproduction of symptoms during the initial rotation. At this point, it is a positive finding and further rotations would not be necessary at that knee angle. We would have then progressed to 20 degrees of knee flexion and checked for reproduction of symptoms there. Since this was an educational video, we chose to show the test in its entirety.